What's up, Taurus? Let's get into this. What planet is affecting y'all today? Time is fluid, so you got to check. Everybody, fucking Venus, your home planet. Did that one affect y'all yesterday? I don't remember. Three enemies. Worse. Three worse enemies. A Taurus. Could be yourself. A Sagittarius. A Libra. Some of y'all children don't like somebody. A man. Some of y'all got children that don't like a man in your life. They don't like him. Y'all could have a Libra child. But they don't like a man that you with. Somebody's trying to play you. They don't like him. They're young, so they can't really articulate it. But maybe if they could get their hands around that big grown motherfucker, they'd kill his ass. Straight like that. And it's going to come a day where a law allows it. Children, it's just, and the justice system got to let it go. Ain't no juvenile. No. <laughs> no. Exoneration, and that's it. The fuck you think this is? Motherfucker sitting here watching somebody beat on their mama all motherfucking day long. You know, different for them motherfucker to tell children to go tell somebody when somebody hits you. No, the fuck, you better knock them motherfuckers back into oblivion. So they'll learn never to put their motherfucking hands on you again and get suspended because you ain't going to get in trouble. Matter of fact, when you get suspended, I'm going to take you to go get some ice cream because that's a good job, how you defended yourself like that, all natural like that. Somebody hit you and you beat that motherfucking ass back because they started it, but you finished it. That's a good job. That's a good quality to have, son, daughter, kind of shit. You got the little black boy that called with a father. Boyfriend keep beating the mama. He called the police. The police come in. Demons are so crazy in the house. The police can shoot the little boy. He lived, but goddamn, if he didn't have that thought process in his mind, that school implanted in there, that when somebody hits you, go tell the principal. When he seen that motherfucker keep coming for his mama, his self-defense for his mama was to kill that nigga or to put something in a, a knife or something when he sleep. Not to call the police. I can handle this little business right now. That's how that shit's supposed to go. The fuck? Better raise soldiers and fuck this world. This world ain't shit. This ain't God's world. He owns it all. But this shit? Uh-uh. Shaitan all day long, baby. Dominion over at least eight dimensions. Prince of the air. So don't be following these motherfuckers telling you how to raise your children. You better raise your children to fight with those that fight with them. Anything else will be motherfucking uncivilized and you're going to raise a homosexual and wonder why he want to get his penis chopped off because he can't exhibit his manhood properly. Protect the fuck they was born for. Fuck you mean go to the principal, bitch. I'm about to knock this motherfucker head off. And the principal can suspend me all she wants to. Prep motherfucking children to become homosexuals. Then lash out at the gay community for trying to make your child gay. The gay community ain't got shit to do with that. It got to do with you. Do your magic, bitch. I don't care. And it ain't magic. It's spell work. And most of these old motherfuckers can barely read aloud kind of shit. Using the Bible. <laughs> this shit's supposed to hold up in a court of law on a Bible. Yeah, right. Resilience, of course. Enthusiasm, because people are doing high magic on y'all's ass. High spell work. It ain't magic at all. There's nothing magical about it. Spell work. The Emperor, Aries Energy, yes, magic. Somebody y'all met in the community, y'all asking what they sent to y'all, yeah. Somebody y'all met near y'all house, y'all asking what they sent to you, yeah. Disappointing news, lack ideas, plans, defensive player, yeah. 
They defensive. If you get to answer them questions, they are Aries energy or father energy, power, domination, want to take over kind of shit. Especially if they are Taurus. Or they are Taurus, Aries, Cusper. Fix, stubborn as hell. You know, if you ask them something, they get defensive. They're a player. That's what it says. They're playing a game. Somebody sent them. Put them in your experience like it was serendipitous, but it's fraud. It's bullshit. Magic. Directing your will. Yeah. Feeling trapped. Limited. Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all are trapped in y'all communities. Can't even drive your car. You may suffer from high levels of anxiety. You feel like somebody doing some type of death spell on you. Y'all going through it, but you don't say shit, so it gets worse when you don't share it. I'm so glad to see tarot readers sharing their experiences and being transparent and letting people see when they're going through dark nights of the soul. I think I got some pictures in my phone that I may share in the community board. Well, one of the times I was going through a real bad dark night of the soul, I had to shave my hair off because they was fucking with my hair. That's the best thing to do. When they're trying to take your hair out and make you go bald, because you wear your hair down and you ain't really in the braids or nothing. You just wear your natural hair. When you see your hair thinning or whatever, just shave it all off. Just shave it all off. Wear it just like that or just put a covering over it until it grows back in. But when you see them trying to attack your hair, shave it all off. It's the best thing to do. Start from fucking scratch. And you will keep your hair on your hair. I promise you that. Especially if you can find, if you go to the Farmer's Almanac. And see where the best days to cut your hair. Where it'll grow back faster. Take the clippers to it and shave that shit bald. If you see yourself going bald. I'm trying to tell you. They be fucking with y'all. Balance y'all equilibrium. They really do. Playing with your life. It's like playing with life. Because some of y'all met somebody that's in it for a game. Money, profits, loss, and playing with money. Playing with your life. You know what I'm saying? Real, real shape shifty. Real, real funny, funny style moving. You know, real, real seven of swordage, real, real working with motherfuckers to put motherfuckers in your experience, doing death spells on you, doing all kind of shit. It's a whole ass ending. Y'all about to get this motherfucker a rude awakening if y'all ain't gave it to him already, that they a fucking fraud and you know they was implanted in your life. If you say that and they get defensive and get to trying to be all extra and shit, then you know what it is. You're a killed in there. My mother always told me, uh-uh, uh-uh, hit dog holler. <laughs> hit dog holler. <laughs> Baby, burden on this motherfucker. You can't fake no shit like love. What the fuck you think this is? Maybe back in the day, because they've been doing this shit for a long ass time. But now, motherfuckers got too many pressure points that they ain't doing nothing about. And honey, another fucking game they don't need. So you could get that motherfucker to unraveling real quick by asking them a few questions. Just scratch a little bit. And they're going to show face, honey. You're going to show face, honey. Let me tell you something, honey. For real. <laughs> News travels fast, I bet. For real. Soon as you met them, as soon as it's fucking over. Everybody looking for a fucking bed to sleep in. You know what I'm saying? For real. I'm going to share this experience with y'all, Taurus. The social worker that I got, she dated this guy. The guy, I don't fuck with this nigga. This nigga was selling hair products or some shit like that. So, he sold me some hair products. And he was a cool dude. So, we would laugh and shit. He reminded me a lot of my teacher. He kind of looked like my teacher. I can't remember if he was a Leo or Sagittarius. He was either one. He may have told me he was a Sagittarius. May have told her he was a Leo. But he's a... He's a player in this game, this stupid shit. So, I guess his thing was to sleep with hairstylists and stuff like that. Me and this dude was just cool. What fucked our relationship up on the friendship side is I, I don't go out. I really don't. I don't go on dates, none of that shit. I really don't. Because I don't trust people. I really don't. I go eat by myself or if me and my sister would go to eat, that's about it. Me and my son stayed on din uh, dinner or lunch dates, brunch dates, breakfast, whatever. But just me and my son. I might link on with a person every now and then from school or some shit and get something to eat. But I ain't doing too much of that shit either. Just, you know, being uh, dip dip diplomatic, okay? So, he, um, somebody told me, I said, where should we go eat? Because we was going to go catch something to eat. So they told me to go to Capitol Grill or some shit like that. But I didn't know it was a really expensive spot. 
But the people that I'm around, they're hairstylists. They used to this. They they, they they dudes with money. So they like, shit, tell that nigga to take you to Capitol Grill. So him knowing what Capitol Grill is about, I don't know. So I'm like, let's go to Capitol Grill. So when we go to Capitol Grill, if that's the name of it, I think it is. When we go there, it felt like the movie The Butler to me. It felt weird and eerie as fuck. And I was like, um, can we go somewhere else? But I think he saw me as a gold digger. So at that point, his defenses went up. Like, oh, I thought you was cool. It wasn't no sexual nothing. Like, damn, I thought you was my nigga. You want some gold digger shit. That wasn't it at all. Somebody just told me, I don't know. What's a nice place to go eat? I'm just asking. This is what they say. I'm like, I don't like this place. I'm like, you ain't got to. I'm like, look at this menu. What is this? I'm like, this feel like a butler movie. feel like I'm on a slave plantation. Let's get the fuck out of here. He's laughing, but he's still trying to see, like, read me on what I'm on. So we end up going to another spot that was pretty good. Price is cheaper, way better food. So we went there. So we kept communicating or whatever, but friends, he was real silly. So, and I'm silly. So it was just really a friendship and I got male friends. I had male friends galore that I ain't never slept with. They just vibe with me and I vibe with them. It ain't no big deal. So somehow it turned sexual somehow. So I'm sharing this for a reason. So, um, he was staying at this hotel. So he told me to come to the hotel. So I was bored. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, when you bored, you should just sit still. If your gut tell you to sit still, my gut told me to sit still, but I was bored. So I got in my car and went to this hotel. I knocked on the door. I'm knocking on the door. The motherfucker didn't answer. My gut said, yo, go home. I mean, heard it loud as day, but the rebel in me keep knocking. So he opened the door. He opened the goddamn door. And of course, it went down. We adults in the damn hotel room. One night, and I ended up pregnant. One night, and it was garbage to me. <laughs> I'm just telling you, because we weren't supposed to take it there. He thought I was lying about the pregnancy because he put in his head that I was a gold digger from the restaurant I chose. But I'm just telling you how these games go. You don't be playing none. And you get caught up in a whole goddamn tsunami of trash. And you're like, hold the fuck up. This is a whole last misunderstanding. So he was going to help pay for me to get rid of the child. But I knew I wasn't keeping it because I don't know him like that. And I ain't that type of chick. I ain't a, but he had that in his head too. Like, where's all these fucking uh, pre-scripted or, or programs? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what you've been through, my nigga. But I ain't that one. So I had to literally work to get what I needed to get in order to get to where I needed to get to get it done in a timely manner so it would be done. The, I wasn't, I didn't have no trauma for I was so happy. I was like, honey baby, pro, I'm pro-choice like a motherfucker. Do you understand me? Now, the social worker, she thinks that I want this man. Why, girl? What are you talking about? You will end up in all kind of shit based on other people's perceptions, fucking perspectives, motherfucking, I mean, everything. You just end up in situations. Some of y'all in this kind of shit. You were never playing the game, but somehow you get deeper and deeper involved in a game that you wasn't never playing. You was only the one getting played like a motherfucker. And in this situation, y'all get in play like a motherfucker and y'all need to call somebody to the carpet on some shit. Like, you got me fucked up. You fake. You fraud out here. You know what I'm saying? He said he was going to pay for the abortion. He ain't paid for shit. He ain't never called me back. Spent me. Tell me he going to bring me some food. All this shit. Playing a game. The same shit with this shit. But motherfuckers been playing so long. They done ran out of gas. They burden. They can't even keep up the facade. They can't even keep up the game that they playing with y'all. Gotta be starting something kind of shit. And don't trust nothing that you say. So why the fuck are you looking for a mate? Why are you looking for a woman? What are you here for? Who sent you? What game you playing, nigga? Because you playing with my mental health. 
You playing with my spiritual health. You playing with my physical health. You playing with my total well-being. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck sent you? What do you want? That's how he was trying to play me. But I was asking him the same motherfucking questions. But that's too how friendships get torn apart. Because all kind of shit be in it that ain't got nothing to do with how you fucking intent, how you first met a motherfucker. Y'all got to start looking at the first day you meet a motherfucker and watch that motherfucker like a hawk. All subtles, all motherfucking body language, all facial expressions, all of that shit. And no, you ain't overdoing it. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Because motherfucker, if it's real, then you can watch me the same way and you ain't going to feel nothing but real come up off of me. You ain't going to feel no motherfucking games at all. Because who play them? Not me. That's weird. To put people in people's paths to play them, play with their life, play husband, play fake father to your children, play all these old punk ass games. And some of y'all baby daddies play these same punk ass games was implanted in your fucking life by a witch in your motherfucking community or in your family. I'm talking back roots. I'm talking back since y'all was young in your motherfucking business, causing you motherfucking towers. Every time you look up, you got a fucking love issue. Because somebody's orchestrating that shit. Envious that y'all get recognition. Like, what? Even if y'all get recognition on a job. <laughs> Man, shit. I'm talking about y'all accrue so many enemies. Don't get an employee of the money war. Don't get an employee of the money war. They about to undermine you in every way fucking imaginable. And they may sick a motherfucker to your job even. If you work like for community services or something like that. Oh, they'll sick a nigga on you from there. For real. I ain't capping. If you would think it's your whole ass man, you done met somebody. No the fuck you ain't. Take them motherfucking rose colored glasses off and look at that motherfucker. For real. Because they play a real dirty game. This weird ass escort service that I'm picking up. Like literally, I got somebody that I think you would like. That you would benefit from their light. You want to have at it? Kind of shit? I'm talking so fucking illegal. And they got so much motherfucking surveillance and recordings of this shit. I bet they move on. I bet they move on. I bet they move the fuck on. You know what I would do on the magic side? I'm so crazy, but I don't give a fuck because my magic be working like a motherfucker. If y'all dealing with some shit like that, and y'all have yet to talk to this person to get the real of who they are, East, go go get you a pack. Go get you a couple packs of now and later's and just eat on that bitch. He gonna he gonna reveal who he is now or later. But oh, that motherfucker gonna have to get on the move. That motherfucker gonna have to get on the move. I'm real intricate with my magic. The motherfucker wouldn't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm trying to tell you, especially if they talk in marriage. It's a whole ass tower situation. They place them in y'all life. For real. Just to cause you pain and aggravation. Because y'all are ruled by Venus. Y'all just heart, y'all heartfelt people. Y'all just who y'all are. You know? Hardwired that way. You know? If you're a good tourist, you're just a good motherfucker. And you ain't changing. So that type of shit makes them just attack you. They hate happiness. They want to bring heartbreak to you. They want to bring betrayal. They want you lonely. They want to cause division, separation, unhappiness, depression, turmoil, grief, sorrow, restlessness, disorder, confusion, and then alienate you. Some of them probably going to start alienating y'all on the job if y'all a good worker. For real. Some of y'all <laughs> done adjusted to it. <clears throat> Just get used to the petty cattiness. For real. <laughs> For real. I ain't capping to you. Resilience. I'm telling you. Y'all know who was with me when I went and got the procedure done? I'm going to show y'all who was with me. 
was the, with me the whole time, hold my hand through the whole thing. The girl said, you all right? I said, oh, yeah, I'm cool. Because I really was cool. Because I had an ancestor that hold my hand. I ain't lying. Why don't hold for what? Shit. I ain't got a motherfucking reason to lie to nobody about nothing. You sound silly as fuck. Who the fuck makes up this shit? You got to be one weird motherfucker. Like, for real. He so pissed, they pissed, so I don't know if he want me to even show who the fuck. Let me see. For real, he stay pissed. I was all right. I was like, girl, if you don't get this done, I don't care. Shit. Hold my hand through this shit. We laughing for real. He like, this a demon, baby. <laughs> I said, Uncle, you know, I don't know what the fuck it is, but get it out of me, bitch. Because <laughs> I ain't never got the time. For real. No cap. Never got the motherfucking time. Oh, he acting real and he don't he don't want to find him, y'all. He really don't. He aggravated. And I just seen him this morning. He in my face. There you go. Why are you acting like that? He was right there with me. Not even my mother. My mother probably disgusted. Yeah, this is right before she died. Well, right after she died. Uncle Jimi Hendrix, he was there. He was there. His essence was there. I was like, oh, God, get me through this. He walked right up in there with me the whole time. I moved on just like this, y'all. <laughs> After it was over, I was like, whoa, whoo, thank you, God. Honey, baby. <laughs> Who learned the lesson? Who ain't never? Shit, when your gut tell you to leave some shit alone, you better walk your motherfucking ass home before you end up in a whole ass situation that you ain't never got the time for. Because I ain't never had a time for that shit. I was already grieving, already having to take care of a child by myself and just a single mother that got a night off. My son was with my sister or some shit. Or might have been with this other girl. my uh, This girl that considered me her god sister. Because she had sons. He more than likely was either with her or my sister. Just a night to myself. And it was like, I'm bored. I'm about to come. Just want to have fun on some stupid shit. I like Pain, baby, pain, honey. So when your gut tell you to walk the fuck away or something weird here, please listen to it. You ain't got to listen to no tarot reader. Listen to your motherfucking gut. It wasn't even my ancestors. It was my own higher self. Get out of there. Go. Uh -uh. Some of y'all warring against yourself that same way. You know better. Higher offense. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's so, it puts you in apathy because it's unnatural. Miss opportunity, stagnation, apathy, disillusionment, preoccupation with negative things, all the bullshit that comes along with um, people playing with your life. For real. You got all the purest intention in the world. But motherfuckers gonna read it how they want to and they're gonna end up playing their hand, but they end up playing they self. But I don't think that you should wait for that. I think you should call somebody to the carpet. Cause somebody a whole ass fraud out here. For real. I hear I like the way you move. Woo. And they listen to you. They listen to your painful experiences, and women have a Really bad habit of being transparent. My mother said, man, you ain't supposed to tell a man everything. Y'all tell a man everything. And she wasn't saying my husband. She was saying a man. Because it just gives them a playground. You know, for real, to toy with you. And then you'll start, they'll start doing things. If you told them, like, your relationship history, they'll start doing things in opposition to make you think that they're better than the people that you're talking about, but they're really the same motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? This motherfucker real savvy at what they do. It makes you like the way they move. Whether they bring you food, bring you money, do shit for you. It's certain shit that they do, but they listen to you. Can you share some pain with this motherfucker, man? 
And that shit makes you go into apathy, depression, you know? This is where I was at, Wedding, I was bored. Boredom is on here. I was apathetic. I just lost my mother. I was fucked up. I just needed a friend for real. I didn't need no motherfucking sex. But clearly my higher self knew what was going to go down, and I jumped my dumb ass in the car. Honey, baby. <laughs> no better. Especially if you're a high priest. Come on, sir. Talk about love. You know you heard that. I did. And I got busted, busted. Did y'all get the sun? Oh, y'all got Mars. What y'all get? <laughs> y'all got Venus, my bad. I ain't never talked to him again, ever. Mm mm. Nope. 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 Uh uh. Nope. You get one time to play me. We can't be friends. We can't do shit. Not a goddamn thing. Devil. Devil. They be following y'all when y'all driving and shit. That's why y'all feel like y'all can't go nowhere. Y'all be feeling people following y'all and shit. Damn. I mean, honey, baby. <laughs> no church in the wild. You hear me? What's it to a what's it to a non believer who don't believe in anything? Make it out alive. All right, all right. No church in the wild. Yeah. My mother talked about no church in the wild. I'm trying to tell you. It look like the moon card outside, no matter what time of day it is. Feel creepy than the motherfucker. <laughs> some of y'all don't like spirits. Here. Some of y'all don't like to pull up like right next to a car so somebody can look in. Y'all kind of stay back so they don't look in your motherfucking car. They had to get tinted windows or some shit or thinking about it. I don't, I, listen, do what you got to do. That's all I can say. I don't like tinted windows myself, but I understand. I really do. Because these motherfuckers is weird. Time to heal. Time to reboot again. Y'all coming out of man. I'm talking about so many endings and defeat in the love department. Just knock it off and be by yourself. For real. And if somebody come want to be interested in you, make sure you scan that motherfucker like you at a self-checkout. I'm trying to tell you. Cause these motherfuckers playing real dirty. They playing slavery. It's some shit like root work. Shit being uprooted and it's coming out crazy as fuck. You got people back selling people, selling children, selling this human trafficking. That ain't shit but slavery. That's why you it smells of black people. Cause it's unresolved issues. And now it's coming out in different forms. But it's coming out like slavery. They selling you off to a man. You think there's somebody coming to say today. And it's a whole ass fraud situation. But you in need of love. You know. And something that was supposed to be healing. Turns up to be a ten of swords situation. So you got to scrape yourself up out of the bed every morning. To get over a fake ass lover. That's telling you. You their primary choice. You their soulmate. Yada yada yada. Then the next thing you know the bottom falls out. And some of y'all want to know. Are people acting different because they're under the spell work? No. A lot of these people were sent via a witch playing escort service in a weird kind of way. <clears throat> Just planting people in y'all communities, wherever y'all work at. It doesn't matter. It feels serendipitous. It feels natural. But it's not. They were sent. Like they selling you off. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Fucking with y'all dream space, shit like that. You think it's real? Oh, they be off into all that. High level magic is what they call it, but it ain't magic at all. It's just repetition. For real. It ain't shit but repetition. It's just like learning your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. How old is that? That shit is ingrained in the culture. 
So it's witchcraft because they do it all day, every day. And they train up other people to do it that way. And people get a part of this little game. And you don't know what game they playing. Just like the twin flame I thought it was. Fake twin flame. But we did have past lives together. But they can manipulate your dream state to make you think you was with this person and this and that. But the stuff that I did and the time traveling I did, they couldn't get up that high. It was in realms they couldn't get up to. But, I mean, upon meeting me, he kept calling me player. What's up, player? I was like, what are you talking about? You know, like, here we go. You know? And then I just softened. And I just started calling him player back. But I didn't like that shit. What are you talking about? Here we go. You know? Here we go. What are you talking about, player? What are you talking about? You know? Where you live at, they'll send them anywhere. That's how a lot of women get trapped in together because they be done suck, suck some type of man on you, they son or something, be the visionary of that shit to get you trapped with babies and get you stuck in a motherfucking ghetto, even though you got goals, dreams, and aspirations. You just stuck. Stick y'all at 19 years old, 17 years old with a dud, a deadbeat, and you trying to get out of it but can't. Get off of there. Stop it. Get away from there. Weird assholes. Get away from there. Go. <laughs> they want everybody looking like a charity case. They steal your money, then they give it back to you. They energy harvest, then try to feed it back to you like they helping you. That's how they do. They got that from the Jewish community. It's black people written all over all this shit. They really did. The Jews send their money to Israel. The Jews spend their money building their communities up where their children have schools, grocery stores, and things like that. They're effective. What they do is they keep you trapped in poverty and then take your money and then feed it back to you. If you're steeped in poverty, more than likely the money that they give you, you ain't going to be able to do nothing but afford something to eat. Maybe, you know, help with the rent or something like that. Voucher kind of shit, you know. 